I'm Vince Weston, finally back in the dungeon. It's been a long, tough summer for me. Work was just has been pretty intense, and the reality is it's not over yet. But I figured it, since it's the, la it's the deadline, and I do love the whooshing sound as it goes by, for the uh, helicopter group build, and just in, so maybe you remember, I'm building the James Bond autogyro. Little Nelly, and uh, it's an airfix kit. I haven't had a real lot of time down here. Uh, it's been I've been too worn out at night that I just don't even seem to make it down into the dungeon. But I figured I'd better get uh, something videoed, or. You'll think I fell off the earth. It is flat, you know. So let, let's get started on things that I found. Uh, number one of real interest, I guess, and I'll just grab a, a page out of the instructions. As you can see on the instructions, there are part numbers for all the parts. You know, there, you, you can see them all there, right? Well, there's a problem. They're not on the sprues. There's no part numbers to the sprues. So you basically have to match up the part to what's in the diagrams. That, that makes it a little bit more challenging. It really wasn't bad because the pieces are fairly unique and it's not too tough to figure out where parts go. The second thing is there's some slight inaccuracies to the kit and the main one and I'm not exactly sure which this is is this part for the uh, side launchers which is these now you can notice that that doesn't look anything like the actual part All right it's painted silver. Um, at first I had assembled it and I was like, ah, that's okay, I can live with it. And then when I was looking at uh, on the web for re reference material, I came across uh, a guy's build and I'll put the uh, link to that. It's, it's a blog, not a vlog. But uh, yeah, he pointed out that this is completely inaccurate. And what it was, was um, there was originally a spring given to you, so you could push down on the spring and shoot a little rocket out of the front. So I started to rework them, but I didn't do this one yet because I was uh, planning on showing that in the video. So this is what the part looks like. And as you can see, if I can get around to both sides, uh, you have to carve off this bottom piece and this firing mechanism and then put a, uh, extend this ring to make it the right length. So I've gotten that much done. There's little fuzzies on there. Um, so that's, that's one piece that had to be customized out of two. Uh, I think there's some other inaccuracies, but uh, I'm not going to worry about too much about them. Um, I have most most of the parts I have painted hand painted uh, because they are so small, like these. That spraying is just was not going to pay off, and the reality is many of these. Um, some are silver and some are aluminum. So there is a difference. So I did most of it by hand painting. Uh, as you can see, I've finally gotten the frame here masked. Um, and this will be painted yellow. Yellow! Um, the other, th well, and one of the other things, here's the uh, fuselage, we'll call it, 
the fairing might be also. That's really interesting in th these two pieces. Um, you're actually supposed to capture, put it all together, and wrap this around and glue it together. Um, I couldn't figure out for the life of me how I would paint it without stuffing all sorts of stuff in there. So I decided to put it together, fix the seam on top and bottom, and um, then work from there. Uh, it'll slip on to here after I actually had to cut off the, the front landing gear pin which I've drilled a little hole and I'm gonna put it got a wire in that piece and I'll glue it back in place when I get the, the front landing gear well when I get this fairing on um, the other thing is 99% of the holes for uh, little Nelly are covered over it's not flash it's actually done that way so you could have a nice smooth fairing without the weapons I guess if you want it though they don't give you any instructions on how to do that or not about that I should guess I should say so I wound up having to drill out all all the necessary points and holes of everything um, the next thing I learned from the blog I read um, was masking for the decals and as you can see, because I don't have them with me, these are all decal pieces going down the sides and around here. And there's different parts and pieces that um, require that. So following the blog, uh, I put down tape. I had copied the decal sheet, and then I laid it over top of the tape. I actually glued it on. But it didn't really stay. Um, and then cut out the tape piece and put it on the body. At this point, for the fairing itself, I have to um, mask, like we'll say, the yellow section so I can paint the silver on the bottom. Uh, similar to the uh, fuel tank, has to be done that way, which is, I don't know where that is right at the moment. Um, but that'll have to be done. Uh, the decals have to be lined up, which is probably why I don't have the fuel tank figured out yet. So I'll have to put it over this, the frame, get everything set up, and then lined up and work from there. Um, so that's coming. This is also one of the reasons I'm not finished. Uh, here's the engine all set and ready to go. Uh, it sits like this where this is the front. I'm not getting very much focus here. And the propeller goes back here and there's also a piece that sticks up for the upper um, propellers which are these. So there's that also. Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, I've got pretty much all the missiles and everything else are painted. You really can't see that with my big fat fingers in it. Uh, I did drill out the back of the rocket. I put a little smoke in the, uh, to me a smoke that is, in the back. And there was another piece that I fooled with, which is these other, I think these are the, the smoke bombs. Um, this goes on either side of the back, and it is supposed to be an orange fin. I did thin this down a little, so it looked a little bit more in scale. And I drilled out the back again, and dropped a little smoke in there. All right, so there's lots of parts and pieces Let's see <laughs> that still have to be put together. 
Uh, I started on the pilot. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use him or not. But there's Sean Connery and his outfit. Um, I've left the arms off for two reasons. Uh, one being painting. The other being uh, hopefully I can figure out how to get them aligned. Because they're just flat spots. So I have to see if I can pin them in there. I'll pin them in to the bottom here and then swiggle them sideways. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, the front of this, I forgot. Uh, like I said, there was, there's actually a little missile that's supposed to come shooting out of here. Well, of course, that's not accurate either. As you can see right here. It's supposed to be these little guys. So on, on that blog I found this uh, that he used and I've printed it and once I get it in I'm gonna color them all red. They, he's got them as silver but of course in the pictures they're red missile tips. Uh, that's about the size that they'll be if we can get the focus on that close and that's kind of what they'll look like anything else I can think of I'm just listening to the whooshing sound of the deadline go by no I guess that's that's about it try and get some more posts up I want to try and get this finished see if I can get back on a couple other builds that I had started one of them is the birthday group build and uh, we'll see how that all goes if I can get some more time down here. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll talk at you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Vincent Weston, Models Foam the Dungeon.